Crohn's disease is characterized by a severe and often unremitting inflammation that can occur anywhere in the GI tract, but it has a predilection for the distal small bowel uh, and the proximal large bowel. But as every medical student learns, it can affect any part of the digestive system. It often uh, involves the full thickness of the bowel, uh, and that can lead to complications of disease over time. Well, unfortunately, uh, Crohn's disease can damage uh, the bowel beyond the mucosa as uh, it is a full thickness inflammation. And therefore, over time, that uh, inflammation can evolve to stricture formation, which will lead to bowel obstruction. And it can also penetrate through the serosa and invade uh, adjacent organs to create fistulization, either to the skin, between loops of bowel, to the bladder, to the vagina, really to any other adjacent organ. So I'm often asked, uh, why does uh, Crohn's disease uh, relapse and then sometimes go into remission, and how does it progress over time? So what we see is that when patients are first diagnosed, about 90% of patients have ulcers in the lumen without the complications of stricture fistula and abscess, and they will have symptoms with that. And then over time, if the mucosa is not healed with various therapies, you'll see these uh, ulcers progress into complications. So uh, fibrosis can occur with uh, stricture and bowel obstruction, as well as uh, penetration of the ulcers leading to fistulas and abscesses. So an a interesting item to consider is uh, how you think about the severity of Crohn's disease. Uh, so on the one hand, you can have relatively mild symptoms with just mild abdominal pain or uh, diarrhea. And on the other hand, uh, you can have very severe symptoms, not just of severe and debilitating pain and diarrhea, but uh, complications like uh, anemia, uh, malabsorption from uh, surgical resection and short bowel syndrome, just inability to eat and malnutrition on that basis. So uh, there's just quite a wide uh, spectrum of disease. Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory disease, and the inflammation in and of itself impacts patients' quality of life by causing fatigue let alone the numerous digestive symptoms that the patients may have, including diarrhea, abdominal pain, weight loss, fevers, inflammation around the anal canal that can impact on sexual functioning and relationships. So really, Crohn's disease has a global impact on quality of life. When we are talking about the populations at risk for Crohn's disease, we used to think that Crohn's was primarily a Jewish disease. However, over the past decades, we've seen Crohn's disease expand worldwide and no longer just affects a Caucasian or Ashkenazi Jewish population. We're seeing an expansion of Crohn's disease in Europe. And despite some evidence of genetic underpinnings in the West, those same genes are not the same in the East as in Asia, where we're seeing the populations expand. And of interest, it's the same kind of populations in the United States. Crohn's disease doesn't occur in the villages. It occurs in the cities. So as populations develop Western lifestyles, and that includes many aspects of hygiene, diet, use of antibiotics, cigarette smoking. We're seeing it across all populations.